the most out of their home court advantage here in Sacramento. Welcome to the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg for 2K Sports for this Friday afternoon broadcast. And our State Farm starting lineups. Here's a look. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, the developing DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, there aren't many players with the combination of size and strength and skill as DeMarcus Cousins. He's a great rebounder. He can pass. He can knock down a jump shot. So this kid can do it all. It's just a matter of putting it all together. I agree. And with his length, you might want him to be more of a shot blocker, Steve. But he's one of the best in the league at taking charges. And that's surprising for a guy of his size. A chance at a two-for-one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two-for-one. Brooks kicks to Thompson. Feeds it to Cousins. Shoots from 14. Brewer grabs the board. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky Brick. Oh, 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 yes. Look at that athletic play. Incredible. Wow. When the big fella goes up like that, you better get out of the way. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Thompson with it. Now Anthony defending. They get it back. And Thornton kicks to Brooks. He feeds it to Evans. Another shot. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Felton. No good on that last second attempt there. So at the end of one quarter of one. Up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? So difficult to get a shot off against this defense. They are really playing hard. Yeah, they're playing hard, and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents. So with Stoudemire sitting on the bench, here's who Mike Woodson's going with. J.R. Smith and Mello filling out the perimeter. Chandler out there with Candy. Then it's Felton in at the one. Gets the bucket. Anthony's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Knicks. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. Evans with it. Now Felton defender. Robinson. No good. And New York the other way now. And now the Knicks on the break. Smith kicks to Anthony. New York moving it around. And here's Felton from the arc. And that is good. Fredette with it. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cat and mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Passes it to Hayes. He passes to Fredette. There's the feed to Evans. Feeds away. Second shot opportunity. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And we've reached halftime in this one. Knicks lead. Well, the question mark the last couple of years for the Knicks has been defense. And I think the addition of Tyson Chandler on the interior was the answer uh, to those questions. And Chandler really helped improve that defense. Now it's a matter of building that foundation uh, as a team and, and really coming up with a defensive plan and sticking to it and allowing it to grow. On the wings, it's Thornton and Evans. Inside, Jason Thompson and DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Brooks in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. No good from Cousins. New York with the ball. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. And you know, you saw that change in philosophy with the head coaching change. Mike Woodson took over as interim coach. And then, like, what, May 24th, May 25th, he, they, they announced that he was going to be the full-time coach, and he got that gig, and he'll be there now for hopefully a couple years, and they'll, they'll settle that position down. Clark, the Knicks were a lot more defensive-oriented under Mike Woodson after that move. Yeah, it was clearly obvious that was the case, Kevin. If you want to win in the East, you need to be able to play tough defense, and the Knicks seem to be headed in that direction now. That's a lot of hype for the defense to have to deal with. You know what, guys? I mean, especially against a guy with his touch. Now, the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this making shots, and that's what they've done. The Kings trail by 11. Thornton dishes to Brooks. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Cousins. Knicks with the rebound. Deep two from Anthony. That's good, and so Felton has the assist there. 
Well, he's one of their anchors at the offensive end, guys, because he can make plays like that all the time. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Knicks out front, they lead by 13. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Who's had the Sprite uncontainable game in this one? Well, let's go to Doris Burke. Guys, well, it was the stretch by the Knicks that garners the uncontainable game today. It didn't take long for them as they were on the mark early and never faltered. Give them credit for controlling the game from the opening tip and being in the driver's seat now as we head to the final period. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that was quite a run, guys. That made a big impact on where we are right now. Yeah, I think that's safe to say, Kevin. It was a major turning point. You know, they really hit on something that in the blink of an eye had them scoring almost at will. Well, you've got to share the credit for that kind of run. I mean, you can't just say it was all about offense. There was some stingy, stiff defense being played, too. So with Anthony sitting on the bench, here's who Mike Woodson's going with. Steve Novak is out there with Stoudemire. And it's Camby, and it's Jason Kidd, and it's Shumpert in at the shooting guard position. Back to Stoudemire. Gathers. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Well, they are not exactly taking their foot off the gas just yet. No, they want to throw a little bit of whipped cream and some cherry on top of this one. Here's Cousins. Got it from 16 feet. And he will punish an opponent for giving him that much room for mid-range. He'll hit that all day. Tries to save it. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Here's Novak. Off the inbound, no good. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean...